Welcome to the iPod Nano 5th Generation Tech Apart Guide. There are a few key changes from the older generation iPod, a 2.2 inch display, and an added video camera with built-in mic. To begin, grab a flat tool and remove the plastic coating from the bottom of the iPod. Once this is complete, there are three Phillips head screws to be removed from the bottom. To remove the plastic from the top, grab a blade or a very sharp opening tool and gently pry this off. Once that's complete, there are two Phillips head screws to be removed. If the screw doesn't come out at first, loosen the screw. Then grab your flathead screwdriver or flat tool and gently pry out the metal from the top. The screw should slide right out. Use extreme caution in removing this as the hold switch is attached to the metal part. This can easily be pried off with a flat tool. Once that's complete, set that aside. Next, grab your blade or flat tool and gently work your way around the click wheel, popping it out of place. Be extra careful as there is a wire connected to the logic board. This will pop off the logic board and once that's complete set the click wheel aside. Now flip the unit over and you'll want to remove the camera bezel. Now grab a push pin or paper clip and remove the LED light from the camera bay. Once that is complete, loosen up the glass on the LCD by pressing down at the bottom. Then grab your blade or flat tool and gently insert it between the glass and the metal of the iPod, prying up on the glass. Use extreme caution not to scratch the glass or the LCD in the process. Once that is complete, now remove the metal piece surrounding the dock connector.
very gently slide down on the logic board and the LCD, pushing the LCD and logic board out of the metal casing. The LCD, battery, and logic board will be in one piece. Now remove the camera from the logic board. Now loosen the logic board so that the protective piece of the eyesight camera will fall free. Once that's complete, now disconnect the LCD cable from the logic board. Now just keep working the logic board until the battery is almost free from the LCD assembly. Now flip the unit over and remove the speaker. The speaker is only held on by double-sided tape. Once that is removed, remove the logic board, battery, and speaker assembly from the LCD. The battery is only held onto the logic board by three soldering points.